welcome to another episode of Wizards of Buzz. I'm here today at the International Marketing Technology Show and it is overwhelming. Just walking up and down these aisles, I gotta tell you, I've been to a bunch of conventions. This is massive, one of the largest conventions in the world. And the topic for today's episode is data-driven marketing. As a business owner, whether you're doing B2C marketing or B2B marketing, you need to incorporate data, small data, big data, into your marketing decisions. And then you need to realize, okay, based on this data after what we've done with our marketing, what's working? Because if you're spending a billion dollars a year, a hundred million a year, a dollar a year, why not incorporate data? There are so many tools out there for business owners to implement, to collect data, to make better decisions for you. Right? Simple things like, who are your prospects? Who's purchased from you before? What kind of get, do you have Google Analytics on your website? What emails are you collecting at your business? IP addresses, cookies on websites, tons of tools out there. Tons of tools to take data in, then your marketing decisions will be wiser. And then once you do the marketing, you're gonna have new data sets come in, right? Then your marketing team needs to look at this data and say, based on this money we spent, was our ROI there? And then you'll have better results with your data moving forward. You know, these companies here are set selling products from $100 all the way up to close to a million dollars a piece. And it's really cool talking with the, with the head of marketing at each of these companies, a lot of these companies here, how focused they are in collecting data. Who's expressed interest at the booth today? Who's purchased before? How much sales do they have? When are one of their older products going to expire and when can we target them with a relevant ad, right? So make data part of your marketing plan because if you do that, you'll be a wizard of bugs.